everyone, welcome back. So for today's art activity, we're making a handprint hermit crab from the Eric Carle book, A House for Hermit Crab. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper. You're going to need some red paint, a black marker, some crayons, some glue or tape, some scissors, and if this is optional, you don't have to have it, but a red pipe cleaner and some googly eyes. Now, if you don't have these, you can also draw on a piece of paper and make your eyes that way. It's completely up to you guys, so let's get started. All right, so I have my paper ready, and I'm going to get my paintbrush and dip it in the red paint and have my hand ready. So you're gonna cover your whole entire hand with the paint. All right, so now that I have my hand painted, I'm going to go ahead and put it onto the paper right about here. You want it on the edge of the paper because on this side, we're gonna be drawing his shell. All right, so when you're ready, you're gonna lift. Perfect, and then you can go wash your hands. All right, so now while my handprint is drying, I'm gonna come on over here and we are gonna go ahead and start drawing his shell. So you're gonna need a black marker, a pencil, or any kind of dark crayon will work as well. And we are gonna start drawing his shell. So a shell is almost like doing a six in a way. You're just gonna keep going like this. So I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna go around like this, around, like that. So again, you're gonna go counterclockwise. And then since this is the top of his shell, I'm gonna go right about here down and make a little spot up like this. So this will be the entrance of the shell where his body will come out. So now that you have your pattern of your seashell, what we're going to do is grab some crayons and just like in the book, we are going to start just randomly drawing little patterns all over his shell. So now that you're done with your seashell, you're going to go ahead and cut out your shell. Now you're not gonna follow the line right here. You're just gonna go out and around the edges. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell but now it was too snug. All right, so your shell is already cut out and now if your handprint is dry, you can go ahead and cut out around your handprint. All right, so now that your handprint is cut out and your seashell is cut out, now's the time that we can go ahead and adjust the seashell to where we want on the crab. So the thumb part will go inside the seashell. We'll have it, I think I'll have it right about here. So you adjust it to where you want it, and you're gonna flip it and tape it.
When that is all done, now's the time that you can go ahead and get out your pipe cleaner. And you're gonna cut out two little pieces for his eyes. So I'd say about an inch and a half, almost two inches. And then you're going to adjust the eyes to where you want it. And once you find a spot that you like, you can either tape them or glue them. In this case, I'll just tape them. So if you don't have pipe cleaners, Another way you can go about doing his eyes is taking a red marker or a red crayon and doing two lines just like this. And then you can get out black and do his eyes. So that's also another way you can do it if you don't have those. Since those are done, I'm going to go ahead and take out my googly eyes and my glue. I'm going to put a little glue on each tip. And grab a googly eye and press. And then you are all done with your hermit crab. So thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you had fun and I'll see you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's art activity.